Hi guys, let me start with something controversial. Vision only autonomy is incredible, but it is not flawless. I've had my car tell me multiple number of times, clean the camera, the sunlight is too harsh, weather conditions are not good enough for FSD to progress. I'm sure most of you have had a similar experience. Now that number of times that the car wants us to take over is not huge, but it is not zero either. And in autonomy, that zero really matters. So here I am to talk about today's Rivian Autonomy Day. And instead of declaring a single true way to build a self-driving car, they quietly did something radical. They said, we're not betting the future on one sensor. And that puts them directly in odds with Tesla's philosophy. And we'll talk about that in this video. Let's do this. Now, is Tesla repeating Edison's mistake? And should autonomy ever be solved by a single ideology? That's what we're here to talk about. Now, first about Rivian's Autonomy Day. Now, Rivian's Autonomy Day, which was held today, was not flashy. There were no humanoid robots, no promises of robot taxis next year. Instead, Rivian talked about sensor function. They talked about redundancy. They talked about AI perception under uncertainty and how autonomy fails gracefully, not optimistically. Now, their vehicles use cameras, radar, and controversially, LiDAR as well. Not because they can't do vision-only AI or vision-only full self-driving, but because they don't believe intelligence should be blindfolded on principle. That alone makes Rivian one of the most philosophically interesting players in autonomy right now. And I'm going to illuminate all of that in this video. Now, the core conflict. Tesla says humans drive with eyes. Therefore, cars should also drive like that. It is elegant. It is bold. And we have used it in our cars here in Australia and around the world for a very long time, including the most recent 14.2 video that I've done on Cybertruck in Washington, D.C. 